Okay, this is Sonia with Stamping Around the Dining Room Table. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you do not have one of your own, I would be happy to be yours. Um, if you go to my website, stampingaroundthetable.stampinup.net, you can take a look at our products. You could order from there. Um, there's a lot of other things you can do from there as well. Leave me a comment here if there's anything I can help you with. Or you could go to my Facebook page, Stamping Around the Dining Room Table, to see more videos and um, to even message, private message me through that. Okay. Um, I did want to mention the, our current catalog, this one, is ending May 3rd. So from today um, until May 3rd, you can order from, from this. Okay, then starting May 4th, our new catalog goes live, and this is the catalog you would order from. And if you go online on those days, it will take you to the correct one that you can order from. The other thing I just wanted to mention is if you did go to my website and you click the shop button and you um, hover over the space that talks about specials and um, how does it say specials and sales, you will see a last chance product sale. You can click on that and it will take you to the things that will be retiring. Some of them have been discounted, some are not. The other thing that you could see there is our clearance rack, which does have um, quite a few items in it and they have been reduced. So those are two things for you to check out, okay? Now, today I wanted to share with you two things the paper pumpkin our paper pumpkin from april which is called so cool and it coordinates with our ice cream corner suite which is found in our mini catalog this mini catalog goes to the end of june so anything in this you can order um, after our new catalog goes live because this is good till the end of June okay and so if you look on pages 48 and 49 it shows you all the items in this suite um, I did go through this a little bit on my Facebook live yesterday um, so if that's something you would like to see so you can see it a little more in depth if you go back to my stamping around the dining room table Facebook page you can see it there Okay, so today I thought I would start by showing you what I did make yesterday. Now, I focused on doing things pretty much the way that they suggest doing them. Okay, so that would be these four right here. Okay. They're pretty interesting. They're fun. Because look, they open. There's your a card. These are all cards. So and you can see there's some silver um, glitter paper. These are popped up on our dimensionals. There's some twine that's kind of like a bumblebee. This one opens like this. Okay, way to go. And this one opens this way. Okay, so you can see I did decorate the insides of those. The envelopes that come with this have this inside, so it makes it you know, even more fun for when you send these and people open them and they see the stripes in there. Okay. All right, so there's those four that I did yesterday. Then I also did these two from using the um yep using the sweet ice cream from the um ice using the ice cream corner and for that this is the um stamps that we get with that it does have these um confetti type things little sprinkles so i put those on there um this is a bundle and it comes with a punch this is the top of the ice cream cone this is the cone it's turned on its side I did um, I put it over here now of course I'm not seeing it I, I do have 
a piece of paper that I punched out so that I could use that if I'm going to punch or if I'm going to stamp and I want to punch that out. Right now I'm not sure what I did with it. <laughs> I was cleaning up to come to you today. I must have moved it. Okay. So these I made yesterday. And this is the ribbon that comes with the with the suite. Okay. So I didn't do anything inside yet. A lot of times I wait till I'm giving it away. Um, so I know who I'm giving it to and just um, what I might want to say. <clears throat> Getting ready for today. I did make this one and um, using that. And, and what I, this paper right here happens to be from the inside of this envelope. It's that paper. And I started out, so it, this is kind of a combination actually, because on the outside, I used that paper and then I used these stamps are from the ice cream suite, okay? And the actual, the suite itself is called Ice Cream Corner. This is called Sweet Ice Cream. And this is called Ice Cream Cone Punch, okay? So I added some of our rhinestone basic jewels to that instead of this. And then on the inside, I use the, these stamps come with, here's one, here's that one. That comes with the paper pumpkin. And then I also, the smudge is in there. This is from our poppy, um, I forgot the name of it though, one of our poppy sets that is carrying over. And of course, I don't have, oh, here, oh my gosh, it's right next to me. I had a piece of paper over it. Painted poppies. It's, this small set right there. And what I did was I used two different colors and I like I inked it up and then I stamped it off and then made those in there just to kind of give that a little color. Okay. All right. So what I thought I would start out was was showing you how I trimmed down this to get this. Okay. So what I usually do is I put this right, I just want the, just a very little bit of that cut off. So I just do the edge. So I just put it right up to like the, the brown on the far side. I think that's how I did it anyway. Okay. And I almost think I maybe didn't get this one quite where it should have been. Maybe I did. This looks different. Oh, I see. I did take it over just a little there. And then I open this up and I cut it just to the side of the fold. Okay. And then the, you, have, you can use the rest of it if you want, you know, like in making your card. It's white. Use it to stamp on. And then, oops, I'm just going to measure this just to be sure. Because this was a size, I really like that size. So that's three and five eighths. Okay, and this way is four and seven eighths. So this way, three and five eighths. So that's, that is just beyond the half. Okay. So, and if you want, you can add this into a regular envelope, which I, let me grab one. I would put in a white one, but right now I've got my very vanilla is the one that's there. And so usually what I do is I show where that is so I know about where to put it in. Okay. And because they both have the sticky on it, on this one I would trim this down. I would trim off just because you don't need sticky, you know, both stickiness there. 
just like that. Oop, here. And I'm sorry, you know, I just realized I'm over too far. I apologize. Oh my goodness gracious. I think I knew, would know what I was doing by now. <laughs> but anyway, so that, if you want, or if you wanted to trim it, you know, even closer to make it round there, you could, with scissors, just trim around that as well. Okay? All right. So, whoops. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the white off. And I did it just so there's a little bit of color on there. And then let me just measure this once more because now that I'm talking, I forget what I said. Four and seven eighths. So it's going to be four and seven eighths. So it's just right. Not just the five and really that takes off again just very little of the color all right so for this one they said I was going to use this one is bumblebee and this one I'm going to use um, Bermuda Bay so those are all colors in here okay so we've got just to kind of show you here we've got bumblebee old olive Bermuda Bay Blackberry Bliss, um, Terracotta Tile, and then I start again. Okay, so that's a fair number to choose from. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to, this is going to go right in the middle of the front here. So grab my silicone mat so I don't get any on my paper under here and mess up what I'm doing. Okay. Known to overshoot the edge of the paper, and then it's put the next thing I'm working on, and it pulls it all apart. All right. So, so then what I did was I then I put this this on here, and what I was thinking. Now, wait a minute, let me think here. Yeah, this one I'm going to. This time I'm going to do. I'm going to do this one. This is the one that came with the paper pumpkin, so I wanted to do some stuff with that. And so I've got some scrap paper here because I'm going to want to stamp off. So the stamp, stamp off. So it's not quite as bright. Oop, I'm just going to stamp off. Stamp off, stamp off, stamp. And then I'm going to use this. And again, and just to show you how I did this. So for this, I put whoop, that little pointy side there kind of up near the top. And then the flatter side kind of near the bottom there. And in the center, I just kind of turned it to the side. Just to give it a little color in there, but not a lot. You could also color that in. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Color that in with blends or with um, colored pencils, whatever you like. I did hear that some people, when they colored in with the blends, they took the um, the ink. What's it called? The The color lifter, you know, should be, and and um, like they would add it like in places like this, and it would make it a little lighter and almost look like it was dripping. One of the things that did come, actually, with that comes with the um, with this set, is it does have this little drop. So if you wanted, you could make something look like it was dripping. Okay. So. And then on this one, I thought I might say, let's see. Yay. What do I want to say here? I want to say, way to go. And this one I'm going to do, do I want that color to want a different color? 
I was just thinking. Now what color would I want? Let me think here. I think that might be too dark to have with that. Okay, let me try this. Where's my... When I'm not sure, I do this, as you can probably, if you've been watching me for a while, I do this. A lot of times I think I have an idea in my head, and then when I get going, I go, wait, wait. I don't think I want to change that. All right, let me see. How would that look with terracotta tile next to it? There's my right here. Or even lighter. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try that one. Now open this the wrong color. I'm not paying attention. Thinking about too many things. Let me try this again, clean this off. Um because these are clear, you want some type a little bit of you may need a little bit of cushion under. I do have the mat that's here it does have a little bit of a cushion. We do sell our stamp and um, pierce mat, which can work for that. If you even have though, if you have like a mouse pad, or if you even have like a um, at home or magazine, you can even use that. All right, so I did not stamp this off because I thought I might want the brighter color. I think, and you know what I might also do, is it'll bring a little color over there. Let me clean this off. And it's kind of what I did when I did it before, is that I did two areas in the one color and then the middle, like in a different color. So I think I'm going to try just, this I'm adding it. It has some, just to give it a little more color there. Okay. Way to go. And then for inside, I'm just going to say, you are so cool. And then on the inside here, though, let me see. Way to go. And I could, I'm going to do another, I'll do another one of these. On the inside. This one here. And kind of like I did before, since I had that other color, I'll do that. This one's, this is more how I did, did that in the center, and then clean it off. And each time I'm like stamping it off. Okay, and. You are so cool. Way to go. You are so cool. And then you have this right next to it. Well, I got to be careful. I got a little bit on the... Well, I think I did not. I think that it's darker. It'll be all right, but I think it had another color on it that I did not clean off. I thought it was clean. But it'll be all right. Okay, let me move these to the side. I'll close these up. I'm going to stick my finger in these. So there, this is an alternative where I used some cardstock I had on hand. Um, I also brought in, uh, actually on the stamps on this were from the, um, the paper pumpkin. Except I did bring in this from the Painted Poppies. Okay. And you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, actually, I could have even, if I wanted, with the, which let me just show you, with, I think I have them over here. With the ice cream set, we've got a couple of sprinkles, and they maybe could have done it also. I didn't think about that till just now. But let me just kind of show you that. There's those kind of sprinkles. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> that's the ice cream cone. Lines for the ice cream. Here is the other one. I had it on this other. I used up all of my blocks. 
Then there's this one. So any of those could have gone on there as well. Okay. But I kind of liked the shape of the other because I could kind of, ooh, I could fit it in there um, in those littler spots. But you could do, you know, you don't have to have a bunch of different stamp sets. Use what you have. And I actually already had the poppies, so, you know, why not use them? Okay. So, let me get this put together. This goes on the inside. And you could say congratulations. You could just say, you know, we are thinking of you, Carrie. It could be almost anything you want it to be. All right, and then here I'm going to put this down flat. Now, when I did this one, I put the, um, the ribbon around it. What somewhere I had made, oh, it's over there. Let me grab this. Actually, I kind of thought about maybe this. Let me see here. I could even, if I wanted, I could wrap this around. Tie this in a knot over here, maybe. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to turn this off. It'll be easier for me to tie it. A lot of times I don't cut it until I know about how long I really need it. Because I've been known to cut it too short. <laughs> then you can't really do anything with it. And let me see. I'm going to put this end under those other two. Maybe. All right, that one doesn't matter so much. It's this one, I guess, that should go under. So that you can kind of, I like to get all of them in the knot if I can. And sometimes I do a second time. And really, this is, I just want to have a nice knot here that's going to stay where I want it. Okay, just like that. And then maybe just one more here. And obviously, everybody's got their ways of doing that, so you could do it differently. Then what, when you do this, you can leave it just like this. You could, at this other end of you, like, you know, move them apart like this. Okay, wait. Course it's giving me a hard time today but anyway you could kind of splay them out a little bit and this feels like it should go over here so there almost kind of like this type of a deal so that you know like they're a little further apart over here and to me this feels like that should go actually here shouldn't be so particular I guess there I like that better if I'm going to, I want them to be in straight lines to go over there. So just kind of move this a little bit there, like that. And then I'm going to use my dimensionals to raise this up. And in the kit, they do give you dimensionals and they give you some little um, glue dots also that you can use things so I'm actually I'm gonna move this up just a little so I can do that there and this over here may need to go up just a smidge too so I can get it over there and when I have a bigger piece like this like a rectangular piece I like to put one in the center you know my house has a landline. I'm one of the few people that still has a landline. There's a lot of reasons for that. You don't need to you don't need to go into it. But <laughs> it seems like it never fails. It rings when I'm when I'm on the phone. I mean on the phone when I'm doing this. 
Oh, they didn't leave a message. So darn that darn car warranty. It's probably you know I just let it lapse. <laughs> We all get those crazy calls. Oh my gosh, makes everybody crazy, I think. Now, the other thing is, this one I put pretty much, well, I guess it was over a little bit, but you could put it right in the center, bring it up here, down here, over here. I think I'm going to bring it down just a little bit there. I'm going to trim these off just a little shorter. There. Okay. I think this one I want just a little shorter. The other one's good. That one I think I want. Right there. Okay, there we go. And I think I'm going to put these on. Now, to put the sprinkles on, you do need, there's a couple things you can do, and I'll show you. You can, whoop, got a little too much there. Let me just see if I can try that again. Just a tiny dot. And I do use, I'm going to put a few of these in the lid. And I do use my little putty end to pick it up. And let's see, I'm going to put a purple one there. Now, the other thing you can do, if I can, I know they're right here. Let's see if I can find, I can use that. The other thing I have used sometimes, if I can find it, so I'll put it over here always happens when I want these things. I can never find them. The little, um, oh, they're here because I just had them earlier. The little um, blue dots that they give us in these, I don't always use them because the other, if you can get some glue dots on a roll like this and they're a little bigger and a lot of times, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's right there. Um, it can be, oh, here they are. Oh my gosh. They're right over there in that corner of my desk. Um, but anyway, so some these sometimes, like if I'm really like on the bigger paper, which they gave you these so that you could, wouldn't have to worry about having any, um, any adhesive, but you could use glue. You could use any type of adhesive you like. Some people like you could get like the tape runner, either the one from Stampin' Up! I have, or if you have another tape runner, that would be all right too. Just want to get this paper out of here. Okay, so those are there. And I'm going to do what color do I want here? I think yellow. And what do I want to do? Now, this is. Actually, in this one, this is Daffodil Delight. That's um, Posy. Um, something Posy. And right now I'm Purple Posy. Oh my gosh, so difficult, eh? And then this is Pool Party and Terracotta Tile. Now let me see. Do I like that color there? Or do I want... Let me do the Terracotta. Was that too much to have the Terracotta Tile there? I don't know that I like that that close, so maybe I'll do the pool party one, which is very close to the Bermuda Bay there. So that's how I'm going to leave that one. All right. So that's one of, that's an alternative. Then I saw one of the suggestions they made, because on, where's the, thing? I just, I did, oh, here it is. This is the directions they give you, and this is how they recommend you do them. But on the back, they show those again, but then they also show some alternatives. And I kind of like this one, but so I'm doing it, though, my way. I'm not doing it exactly their way. They had a different color. I'm going to use this color that's right there. That is Old Olive. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off. if I can trim it out just a little bit so it doesn't look quite so flat. It's a little better bit here. 
Maybe I'll just kind of trim this down all the way around here. You don't have to do that unless just I didn't like how it looked. So I want it to look a little more even. So I'm just kind of trimming this down a little bit. But you can do as much or as little trimming as you want with this, okay? All right. Now this one, I am going to... I am going to pop that, and actually I think I'm going to trim this because it just feels too bright against that green to have that white right there. But you can, you know, you don't have to. If you try this, you can do it the way you want, but I like it better like this. And I'm going to tip that a little bit. They had theirs like this. I'm going to tip my mine. All right, and then on this one they used... Other pieces in here. I think I got everything out and I forgot this. All right. And they did the happy birthday one, which actually that does look kind of like a nice happy birthday. So they have happy birthday here. And let me see. Because of the color they had, these are different. I think I'm going to put the happy birthday. Do I want it? Which color do I want that in there on? Hmm, either the yellow, I could do the terracotta tile, the blue, maybe, let me try the blue, I'll do it on my, this is what I do sometimes when I'm not sure what color, a lot of times I will just, I will do it on my scrap paper, and then I can just kind of see, what do I like? Do I like that there? I think I do because it pulls that blue up. I think if I do the other color because they're they're kind of closer. But anyway, that's what, in this case, that's that's my reasoning. <laughs> Just so you can see what I'm thinking. Because I know sometimes, I'm sure, sometimes people are like, what the heck was she thinking there? Okay, so there's the happy birthday. And then they gave us this to put on there. And again... I'm going to use, and I'm going to use my bigger ones right now, but um, you want something that's got good, um, good sticking power because this has um, got some texture to it. And sometimes if you don't get good glue on there, it's not going to stay. And these, sometimes these hold better than some of the other glue. The liquid glue should hold all right too if you wanted to use that. So there's that. And they gave us some stickers with this set. And they used the and I like the idea of the sun there. So I am gonna and I put the sun here. And you know, let's see. They put I don't know if I want this. I don't always like this the way that they do this, but I just wanted to see because what they did was they put this kind of right here and then they put this across it actually if I can make that show I'm going to like that like that I think so sometimes I can sometimes I can't I'm going to try it and again I use glue dots so you could even use the ones they give you sometimes I use two it just depends I just want to make sure it's going to stay where I want it to stay. And this is like a, excuse me, this is a double bow. I just had basically two pieces of that and made a big bow there. And I want this popped up. So what I'm going to do is, I think I want that pop. Well, it'll fit better because that's underneath it. So I'm going to, let me just see. Yeah, I'm going to put one on this side of the of the twine and one on this side and I'm hoping I'm getting it so it's not going to show. I didn't push it down hard yet so I can move. Yeah, see that that does cover it. So and I took those off now. There, there's that. And I didn't put this down up there because I wasn't sure if I wanted to pop the whole thing up. But maybe not because the birthday's popped up. So I guess, oh, before I do that, I really should, um, okay. Since I put 
put that down. I'm not going to try to take it off. I'm just <laughs> crazy, crazy Sonia here for getting it together. Glue this too. I'm just putting some liquid glue on there to help hold that part down. And this already has sticky on it because it was a sticker. So there's that. And I'm also going to add to mine. I have some of our. Um, Rhinestone basic jewels here, and that's silver. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of pick up on that there, there, and there. I think. Wait, which one I might want? Oh, this. No, that's gonna look like they're lined up. I don't want them to look lined up. Maybe like that. Okay, I'm just. I'm gonna leave for now. All right, happy birthday. And then for the inside, which I don't know if I have that right now, I will just, I don't think so. I'll just put a piece of white paper, kind of like this, and add whatever sentiment. And again, I'm going to wait on that till I know who I'm giving it to. And I have some different fun things I can say, or it could be a little more serious, you know, depending on, yeah, I just turned that one side down, just felt a little long. So there's this one. And if you wanted, you could even put a, draw a little smiley face on the sun. All right. I think I got time to do at least one more. Okay. I'm going to do this one. Now, this one I wanted show you this is some of our the paper that comes with and i didn't show it here i did show it yesterday but real quickly the um paper that comes with a suite it has those ice cream cones it's got that design similar design in different color those kinds of ice cream treats that same design and those colors and then this kind of ice cream cone okay and then there are two sided so on the back this looks like a waffle cone this is our blackberry bliss with stripes this is all the colors i told you that were in there and then the green with polka dots and then this is the terracotta tile with that little wave effect there and then sprinkles so a lot of fun this paper and i did use the sprinkles on the background here so okay so this one i wanted to do like this and this one I want to put it flat down so where's here's this and yep. turn it this way but I'm going to stamp on it the other direction there sometimes it's easier for me to get it on straight if I do it like that and then this is this one i'm going to what did i want to do on there oh i think that's what i wanted to do i wanted to find i thought on this one i would do the ice cream cone and just show you if you're stamping it how that works i guess you can't figure it out yourself but this and where did i had the I grabbed the wrong one earlier. All right, well, let me just. So this one, oh, here it is. With. Cinnamon cider. I'm going to stamp this and these I'm not cutting out. I'm just going to stamp it on here. So that's going to be here. And then. That's with cinnamon cider, and then with soft suede, I'm going to put some lines in. Now, these are not exact, they're not perfect, but just enough to give you, you know, the idea of the waffle cone, okay? Then, I was playing around with this earlier. I hope I can get it to do what I wanted to, because I want it to... I want to use the terracotta tile and I want to use the bumblebee. So, oops. So, drop everything on the floor. 
good job on the red book. I'm not sure how I did that, but anyway. Okay, so. Just trying to remember how I did this. <laughs> I did it. I think I did the yellow first. So it was yellow. Stamped it off. Stamped it there. Then, this is darker so I can do this. Stamped it off. And I did my best to line. I may have been the other way around. I think it was the other way around. So let me try that one more time so I can see it better then. Stamp it off. Stamp it on. Oh, I did that backwards. That's not what I was going to do. I was going to do this one first. All right, try this again. Stamp it off. Okay. Now the yellow. Stamp it off. Now I gotta get my head down in here so I can kind of see. I think that's it. I hope that's it. So we can see. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. So it's I kind of like the different colors there. So start with this color. Stamp that off. There, should have maybe brought it down a little more. Oh well. And then the yellow. Again, stamp it off because if I don't, it's too dark, then believe it or not. And then I think that's about right. I hope because if not, it makes your eyes kind of go because it's blurry. There, there's that. And where's my little drip? I wanted the little drip. I don't know if I still if I have it out or if it's in the thing. It's in here. Okay, I'm gonna use and see so it's a little more yellow actually with having those colors together. Then that would be by itself. But I think I'm going to just kind of go like this. Because I'm feeling that white a little. So it may not matter. This is not my original plan. So anyway. Drip. I have this a drip there. Drip. I just thought that was kind of fun. That dripping down. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, obviously. Okay. Then, I wanted, what color was I thinking I would, oh, I don't know. I left enough room for that to go on there. You want to treat yourself. Oh, no, that's not. That's the wrong one. Here it is. Will this fit? And actually, let me just see here. Or, you melt my heart. Maybe I'll just say that, because that'll fit over here. That fits a little better. And I actually think I might do that in the soft suede. I hope I'm not sorry I did this, but anyway, that's what we're going to. There. You melt my heart. There's that. Close this up. Okay. Whoop. Oh, it's getting near the end. That's why I did that. Okay. And I'm going to pop this one up. I do like to have some dimensions, so a lot of times I pop stuff up. Give it a little more dimension. Again, like one in the center so it doesn't. And actually, because I don't want. You know, the yellow would. Yeah. Okay, I want this. What do I want? A little bow. I don't know that I'm going to want a bow. I'm going to leave it. If I decide later to do a bow, I can do a bow. 
because I want to put some sprinkles on here. There, there's that. And again, I think I'm going to use these for the sprinkles. If I can find my, here it is. Okay, I have one there. Oh, and I know what else I want to sprinkle this on there. I'm going to see if I can. I forgot. Do I do that with my sprinkles? Nope. Here they are. I wanted to do it in the tile, terracotta tile. It would have been better if I had done it before I put it on there, but that's okay. It worked out. And, oh, I got a little there, but it's all right. These off so I can get my plastic sprinkles on there. All right. There's the lid because if I can hear, because if I just have a few in here, it's always kind of spilled out. But if I can do this. A yellow one. Blue one. Now I think a purple here, maybe. There. There. There's that. And if you want, I'm going to just try to have a little bit of Wink of Stella here. I hope this is coming apart the wrong way. There. Oops. What's going on here? All right. I can play around with that later. I thought I had a wink of, another wink of stella, but I don't see it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's not. Somehow I think I. It looks like it got all clogged up in there. There we go. Play around with that in a few minutes. See if I can get that on. Oh yep. Yeah. There. All of you can. It'll be how shiny it will be for you, but. Ice cream cone's a little shiny. <laughs> Not sure there's any glitter in that or not. Anyway, all right. So let me kind of clear the decks here. I did have another, the makings of another one, but I can tell that it's probably gone a little more than half an hour. I've been trying to keep these to half an hour. So it's not taking up a lot of your time, but I appreciate you hanging in there with me. I'm going to move stuff out of the way here a little bit so I can put these all down here. The ones I made today. Melt my heart. Birthday. This one I made before we came on. And so there's, there's those. Okay, and, and I will have some stills of these over on my um, Facebook page, Stamping Around the Dining Room Table, so if you would like to go there, um, you can. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, and if you like this, please give it a thumbs up, okay? I do my Facebook Lives on Tuesday mornings at 1045 and Friday afternoons at 145, and I do the YouTube on Wednesdays at 7.30. I hope that you will join me again for um, more crafting. And once again, Stamping Around the Dining Room Table. Stamp Around the Table, that's Stampin' Up! That, and that's my um, website, my Facebook page. Okay, so thanks again for watching, and until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.